Donald Trump is known for his billions and billions of dollars, but now he's also President of the United States. Before he was POTUS, however, he was simply a billionaire with lots of expensive stuff. Here are ridiculously expensive things that Donald Trump owns. Penthouse in New York City. Spanning three floors, Trump's luxury penthouse is referred to as the 68th floor, even though Trump Tower is only 58 stories tall. Located in the heart of Midtown Manhattan, this is the place Trump, his wife Melania, and their son Barron call home. The penthouse is decorated with marble, diamonds, murals painted on the ceilings, crystal chandeliers, and basically anything that can be made out of or plated with 24 karat gold. The decor was inspired by Louis XIV. Rolls-Royce Phantom. Trump's first Rolls-Royce was a 1956 Silver Cloud, one of the oldest in his collection, but he also has a $500,000 Phantom. It was once called the best car in the world and could be customized to the owner's specifications. Knowing Trump, that probably means a fair amount of gold plating was added. Now that he's become the President of the United States, however, he may have to give it up for a Secret Service Cadillac. Golf Courses it's certainly no secret that Trump loves golf. In fact, he loves it so much that he currently owns 17 golf courses valued well over $300 million. As of December 2016, he owns three courses in New York, three in Florida, two in New Jersey, one in California, one in North Carolina, one in Philadelphia, and one in Washington, D.C. And those are just his local investments. He also owns two courses in Scotland, where the sport was born, two in Dubai, and one in Ireland. While not all of his courses are private, they are all luxurious. Trump Tower. This 58-story skyscraper, located on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, New York City, is Trump's headquarters and home. The grand building houses shops, an atrium, apartments, Trump's penthouse, and offices. This is the home base of the Trump Organization. The building was also used to film The Apprentice reality TV show and appears in The Dark Knight Rises as Wayne Enterprises and The Wolf of Wall Street. Boeing 757. Once upon a time, Trump's Boeing 757 was a commercial passenger plane, but has received some updates since Trump got his hands on it. All the original seating, floors, and interior decor were gutted and replaced with lavish seating, complete, of course, with gold-plated seat belts. An office and several bedrooms, including a master bedroom with a 24-karat gold sink, in the ensuite bathroom. He even replaced the original Boeing engines with a pair of Rolls-Royce engines. It is worth over $35 million, and some say it puts Air Force One, the president's private plane, to shame. Mar-a-Lago Resort Built in the late 1920s, Mar-a-Lago is a 110,000 square foot mansion in Palm Beach, Florida. It currently houses a private resort and club in one section and a private residence for Trump and his family in a separate closed off area. He bought it in 1985 for $7 million and has since renovated it to include 58 bedrooms, 12 fireplaces, 33 bathrooms, and even three bomb shelters. It is equipped with tennis courts, pools, a spa, and a 20,000 square foot ballroom. Members must pay a $100,000 initiation fee and an annual fee of $14,000. Sikorsky S-76 Helicopter this is no ordinary helicopter. Trump's Sikorsky S-76 receives an overhaul when he purchased the $7 million chopper. It cost him nearly $750,000 to gut the interior and refurbish it Trump style. The inside is now outfitted with a 24 karat gold plated seatbelt, handles, and various other hardware. The Trump family crest is stamped in gold on the side, tables, and cabinets as well. There are four luxury leather chairs with plush, Trump crest embroidered pillows for passengers to travel in style and comfort. Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. While it's not the most expensive thing Trump owns, this 2003 Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren isn't cheap either. Trump's luxury car collection tends to lean towards rolls, but his $445,000 Mercedes is still pretty impressive. While he usually has a chauffeur to drive him around, this is one of the cars Trump prefers to drive himself. The Trump Organization The Trump Organization deals in real estate such as golf courses, hotels, casinos, and private residences. They also have their own production company, which made The Apprentice, a modeling agency, and even a retail business. Trump's primary net worth comes from these ventures. He also had a winery, but sold it to one of his sons a few years ago. It remains part of the organization. The majority of his businesses run out of Trump Tower in New York City. 
When the President of the United States travels somewhere, we all know he doesn't just hop in the family station wagon. When he's not flying in Air Force One or Marine One, the most powerful person on the planet travels in a rather impressive motorcade. Sure, we know the limo is bulletproof and there's a ton of Secret Service agents around, but we bet there are some fascinating things about the motorcade you didn't know. So hit that subscribe button and prepare to see all of the incredible effort that goes into keeping POTUS as safe as possible. R&D the centerpiece of any presidential motorcade is the president's limousine. You've likely seen footage and images of this vehicle swiftly moving through the streets of various cities, but this is much more than a beefed up limo. Instead of just taking a regular limo and bolting on a bunch of armor and run flat tires, there's actually a lot of research and development that goes into designing and building a presidential car. How much? Well, the car used for the inauguration of President Trump has been in development for years. Over this time, it is rumored that GM has spent upwards of $15 million in development cost alone. A car that's a tank. So what does all that research and development get you? The presidential limo, aka the beast, is more tank than car. It has eight inch thick armored doors, glass that can stop a 44 Magnum bullet, body made up of five inches of military grade armor, and armor floor plates to protect the president from grenades and bombs thrown underneath it. The beast even sports an armored gas tank that has a special foam that will seal itself if punctured. Limo cost. Well, as you can imagine, the presidential limousine is rather pricey. Sure, a regular limo will cost you around $75,000. Throw in all the armor and amenities found in the Beast, and you have one insanely expensive car. Estimates place the cost of one presidential limo in the region of $1.5 million. That's not even including the cost of gasoline, which is likely high considering this thing gets an estimated four miles per gallon. Fast and Furious. Okay, so it's heavy, chews gasoline, and reportedly can only reach 60 miles per hour in around 15 seconds. Hold on though, the Secret Service compensate for this lack of performance on paper by putting a specialist behind the wheel. That's not just any regular chauffeur driving the president around. Nope, it is a specially trained Secret Service agent who can handle the beast as though it were a Ferrari. Special driving courses ensure this agent can get the car out of danger and through nearly any situation if the need arises. Never just one. Yep, it is believed that there are around 12 presidential limousines. Why so many? Well, if you watch a presidential motorcade, you may notice that the group has two or three beasts. These can be used to carry other VIPs, or more commonly, they're used as decoys. In this instance, they move around in the motorcade, so any potential assassins have no idea which one holds the president. Always sent ahead. From California to England, the motorcade gets sent ahead thanks to the US military. In this instance, the Beast and accompanying Secret Service vehicles are packed up aboard military transport vehicles and flown to the destination in preparation for the president's arrival. This way, there's always a familiar group of vehicles waiting to escort the president, no matter where he is, across the globe. Size matters. If you've seen a few presidential motorcades, then you know each one is a little different. This is because each scenario is a little different and requires altering the amount of protection and support staff traveling with the president. In short, the more dangerous an environment, the more vehicles will travel with the motorcade. Former agents have said that the smallest motorcades are usually around 10 vehicles in size. In areas where there is more of a threat, the motorcade can grow up to 40 cars, SUVs, and motorcycles. Always watching. Every presidential motorcade has a lot of agents and police on lookout. Obviously, the main part of this is visual as they scan for any threats. However, agents are also listening to the airwaves for threatening radio or cellular chatter. This was demonstrated in 1996 when agents picked up on the words marriage and bridge while escorting Bill Clinton in the Philippines. Knowing marriage was often a terrorist code word for an imminent attack, they diverted the motorcade. A search later discovered explosives attached to a bridge along the president's original route of travel. Serious firepower. Take a look at the gun on the roof of this SUV. While it looks like something out of Grand Theft Auto V, we can assure you that this is very real and a part of the presidential motorcade. Just watch the next motorcade and see if you notice the one SUV with no agents jumping out of it. That's the one sporting this six-barreled Gatling gun that can fire thousands of rounds per minute. Of course, the Secret Service agents are always packing a whole bunch of firepower, but this guy definitely has the final word in any argument. With a touch of James Bond. 
While it's armored from head to toe, the Beast also has some pretty neat additions you'd expect 007's car might have. There's night vision cameras, tear gas grenades, and fire fighting equipment, all standard features. The car can also survive a chemical attack thanks to having its own oxygen supply. Of course, there's always the touch of elegance provided by the separate reclining leather chairs in the back. So while the world goes crazy outside, the President can ride in comfort. Almost everyone was surprised when rumors spread that Donald Trump wasn't going to live in the White House. But considering he has a list of luxury properties throughout the world, is it really a surprise? Here are 10 Trump properties that are better than the White House. Trump International Golf Links and Hotel, Dunbeg, Ireland if the Donald feels like escaping to the countryside, he has a vast portfolio of properties to choose from. But one of the most impressive properties is the Trump International Golf Links and Hotel, located on Ireland's southwest coast. The amenities of the beachside hotel include a spa, luxury dining, and an 18-hole championship golf course. The castle-like hotel offers four bedroom suites decked out with private living and dining rooms that give the White House guest rooms a run for their money. Trump Winery, Charlottesville, Virginia Trump was able to snatch up the former Kluge estate in Charlottesville, Virginia after the previous owner defaulted on their loans. He then quickly turned the property into the Trump Winery, where he makes wines featured in his properties all over the world. The estate offers 23,000 square feet of living space with 45 rooms including a movie theater. The property sits on 2,000 acres of land with a functioning vineyard and horse stables, neither of which are features of the White House. Seven Springs Estates, Bedford, New York in 1996, Trump bought the Seven Springs Estates in Bedford, New York, in the hopes of building a golf course around the property. He soon scrapped the golf course plans and made the estate his private vacation home. The property features 50,000 square feet of living space with three swimming pools and a bowling alley. There are 60 rooms total and 15 bedrooms, which is four bedrooms more than the White House. Mar-a-Lago Estates, Palm Beach, Florida Trump showed off an interior of his huge Mar-a-Lago estate mansion when he tweeted a photo of himself writing his inauguration speech. What the camera didn't show was just how decadent the estate really is. The 110,000 square feet mansion is twice the size of the White House and offers five times as many bedrooms. In case of a sudden attack, Mar-a-Lago has three bomb shelters, which probably is a few less than the White House, but who's counting? Trump has turned this property into a private club which offers memberships at $200,000 a pop. Trump Turnbury Hotel and Golf Course, Scotland not only does President Trump get to enjoy his own golf course when he goes to his Trump Turnbury Hotel property, but he also stays in his own private lighthouse. The Trump Turnbury Hotel is a hotel and golf course located on the Firth of Clyde in Scotland. The historic lighthouse was part of a $300 million renovation Trump spearheaded for the Turnbury property. During the renovation, the president added hundreds of chandeliers, gold leaf finishes, and Italian marbled bathrooms to the property. Trump International Hotel, Washington, D.C. If Trump feels like staying in D.C. but doesn't want to stay in the dumpy White House, he can lay his head at his new property, the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. The historic building was once the 19th century old post office building and located between the White House and the U.S. Capitol building. There are 35 suites located in the hotel, but the king of the suites offers 6,300 square feet of space, which is the largest accommodation of its kind in the city. The suite offers a 20-person dining room as well as a lavish living room and private gym. Le Chateau des Palmiers Saint Martin there is one thing the White House will never offer, and that's amazing views of the ocean. Le Chateau des Palmiers is an oceanfront mansion that Trump rents out on the French island of St. Martin. After visiting the property one time, Trump knew he had to have it for himself. The nine-bedroom estate features its own tennis court, fitness center, putting green, and a private butler. But at the end of the day, it's the spectacular view that makes it the winner in a matchup against the White House. Trump Force One 757 
That's right, Trump's private 757 has made the list because any flight home with 24 karat gold plated buckles is better than the White House. Trump's private 757 is worth nearly $100 million and he spared no expense when it came to the details. Trump's private cabin in the jet has gold silk walls, 24 karat gold sink fixtures, and a marble shower. Trump Force One is one of the fastest planes in the world because of its Rolls-Royce RB211 turbofan engines, which means it can fly for 16 hours at more than 500 miles per hour. Trump National Golf Club, Bedminster, New Jersey the Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey is so dear to Donald Trump's heart that he hosted his transition team there before he became president. The president spends a lot of time at the golf course during season. He even walked daughter Ivanka Trump down the aisle on the property. The property is only 45 minutes from New York City and Trump offers membership to the golf club for $300,000 a year. Trump Tower Apartment, Manhattan, New York the most lavish of all the Trump properties has to be his three-story apartment resting at the top of Trump Tower in New York City. Considering all the marble and 24-karat gold splashed throughout the penthouse apartment, it looks more like a showroom than a home. The main home of the president is modeled after the Palace of Versailles. It features a gold and diamond-encrusted front door, ceilings with Greek-themed paintings, and some of the best views in Manhattan. It may be over over the top, but the penthouse apartment is worth $10 million more than the president's White House. Let us know what you thought of Trump's crazily luxurious properties down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to The Riches for more incredible videos every day. Thanks for watching.